Boolean. Pick Boolean rollout. So here we have a sphere and a cylinder, and the cylinder passes through the sphere. Same thing over here. And we're going to go to our compound objects. So I'm going to go to my command panel, go to create, go to geometry, and I'm going to go to compound objects. I'm going to pick on the sphere, and then I'll pick Boolean. Now, I need to pick the second operant, the second thing that we're going to operate on. And by default, the move command is typically by default. And so when I go and say pick operant, the move command is when it's selected, it only uses the operant B to be used as the Boolean object. So I'm going to pick on this item and I'm going to go with subtract B from A, uh, B minus A. And boom, I end up with those two objects. Now, I'm going to do basically, I'm going to pick on the uh, sphere over here. I'm going to go to Boolean. And now instead of doing the move, I'm going to make a copy. In the copy command, um, it creates a copy of the operant B so we can use it later. So remember, the operant B, I'm going to pick the cylinder. So it's going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to say, all right, pick operant B. And I'll pick the cylinder. And bam. And now I'm going to make a right click and finish the command. So it made a copy of the cylinder, the original cylinder. So if I pick on this and move it, you'll see it made a copy of the original. OK? So we have like four different um, ways in which we can pick the operand Bs. And so I'm just going to go back in here. And I'll tell you what, we're going to pick a sphere here. And uh, I'm going to make a cylinder go through it now. Right? And I'm just going to move it around a little bit so that it goes through. And uh, all right, hang on here. So okay, we're through here, and I'm just going to pick on this on the sphere, and I'm going to go over here to my compound objects, and pick on boolean. Now we made a copy that time. Now, if I were to go to reference and then pick the operand B, uh, the reference button is used to make a clone of the operand B, and it behaves just like the reference object. So I get uh, an exact copy of what's left over in, in operand B. And then if I pick the instance, the instance then creates an instance of operation, uh, operand B, and then uh, any changes to operand B, then we'll make changes to that Boolean object as well. So most of the time, we are using the move operand. And the operand, remember, is the two things we're operating on. So when we pick the initial one, that's operand A. And now when we pick on the button for operand B, this is going to be our second operand of the object. And what do we do with it is down here in operations, and we'll get to that next.